press fit and MLCP pipe. Uh, my name is Alan Hart and in today's video I've got one of our moderators on the plumbing um, and gas training group. Um, he's done a video and he's going to explain um, press fit, press fit copper. He's going to show you the different guns. He's also got some MLCP pipe as well and he's going to give you his opinion on that. Um, it's called Nick amazing guy his work is absolutely spot on the best top of his game to be honest i'm going to be going out with him in a few weeks time so we'll have some more videos on here of some of his work and you'll be amazed at how good he is but without further ado i'll pass you over to nick's video right fellas as requested or as i would try to it's gonna be very quick i'm not gonna bore you with the technical details but that's a Nova Press gun. Um, it's to say, if you see the Jebrit one or the Milwaukee one that's in the picture on this thread, um, it's made by Nova Press. This is an M Press, an M Press jaw. You see what it says M there? M profile. That's obviously 15 mil. The dead easy to get out. Out. In. That's it. Basically. 22 mil one. That's it, that is it to change. Yes, you need a jaw for every every pipe. This little gun here will go up to 35mm or inch and a quarter in old money. This will do copper, stainless and carbon with these jaws on the M-Press jaw. Right, and we'll stick the 15mm one back in and then I'll show you later. So, this is a Eupinor gun. This is for your composite pipe. Same principle, made by Klauke this, German company. Competitor to that one. Have you noticed the difference? The longer by a section. These jaws won't go in there and them jaws won't go in here. It's brand specific. You can get the jaw for the composite pipe on the U-profile to go in this gun. Right, I'll shift this out of the way and we'll put some fittings out. Fittings. Copper fittings, these are for water, the 16 bar rated up to 110 degrees. Um, these are available up to 4 inch uh, and they do a stainless version up to 6 inch as well, which is 154 mil. I'll try and put some pictures on later. Um, dead simple, dead quick. Um, obviously no hot works. That fits in there, pipe goes in there, you press the button. Right, what did I do with my pipe? So, pipe, normal cut with pipe slice. There is a reaming tool that you take the burr out of. They recommend you do that. And then you need to scotch bright it. Clean it all up. Check the end of the pipe, make sure there's no major scuffs and things and dents in it. Then you need to take this depth gauge you put it in there and then you would mark the depth with the proprietary pen i haven't got a pen i'll be honest with you fellas this just doesn't get done on domestic jobs commercial jobs it will do because to get it signed off for the warranty they have to be id'd you should do it on all jobs we don't i'll be honest with you we've never had one leak yet and using it for five years that would go on there, all the way in. The line would indicate it's all the way up. You stick it on the end of there, on the finger, let go of the button. The machine runs its cycle, take it off. Now it can leave a little tag. There is some a product called dry slide that you're supposed to put on there. Uh, I haven't done that just yet, but you would you don't normally leave that if it's tagging there like that you take a file and file it off that's it finished done okay that's that so moving on to the composite one same principle and um, this is a u profile jaw so this will do u panor um rifing multi-pipe main core and there's a couple of others okay different size now 16 mil so this is the pipe 
it's a composite pipe with an aluminium core in it so it's got an outer layer an aluminium and an inner layer it's 100% oxygen free you oxygen can't get through it or out of it um, different process now now you're going to seal the fitting on the inside of the pipe so you're not bothered like um, what the state of this pipe pipes on the outside if it's scratched a bit dirty it's not a problem you push fit pipe you've got a major issue it's got a big scratch in it because the o-ring's got to fill the gap once you fill it up with water so i'll show you how to do that now so uh, this is a speed reamer um these come in different sizes now what you've got to be aware of is that these are brand specific for the pipe because the pipe can be a different wall thickness the outside diameter will be the same but the inside diameter may not so, good old drill, sorry it's not a Festil one, um, speed reamer, because in the end, and all you're doing is reforming the pipe round and you're putting a little um, chamfer on the inside and a chamfer on the outside. These, this is your fitting, these are an old metal one, this happens to be a rifing one. That's a multi-pipe one, it's plastic, it's composite. The double O-ring sealed. Uh, the different sizes, there's a 20 mil one, another rifing one. Uh, these are Upano fittings. That's a spigot, 22 mil from 25 to 22. That's for press fitting onto something like that to convert it from copper to, um, you can put compression or press fit. You can't solder these. Um, so it's got two o-rings in it it would go in drop me, drop me pipe it would go in the end of there this is your collar there's a little hole on there push it in all the way home click that on it's ready for press fitting I'm not going to press this on I haven't got any many of these left and I've got a job to do today so um, that's it it's very efficient and it's very quick. It's clean, it's tidy. This stuff is memory stable. So wherever you put it, it'll remember it. It doesn't sag like plastic. Uh, it's suitable for secondary returns and continuous at 70 degrees. Some of your plastic ones, plastic pipes aren't. There's no plastic pipe on the market that you can run secondary water through all the time. The other great thing with these is you can have point to point um, plumbing. So this is a little domestic sanitary manifold. Um, your supply would come in here and you could cap it off or if you're going to another outlet you could carry running on and then you would take each feed out to, say this was a bar, kitchen, you dishwasher, washing machine, fridge and then you would have another one for the hot. So this would be cold and this would be hot supply. Um, really efficient, uh, less fittings and less mess. There's a bit of 32 mil. It's as tough as old boots, this stuff. It is bulletproof. Um, we've never had a problem with this yet, at all. 100% success rate, so. They are out there. You don't have to use push fit if you don't want to. Um, I've been in this industry a long time and we've been to some jobs with push fit that have been shockers, to be quite honest, and cost a lot of money to put right. I would urge you not to use push fit, but it's down to personal preference. So I hope you found this video of some use and if you could put some comments below, I'd be very grateful and thank you Nick so much for putting the effort in to do this video because I know how much time um, videos take to do. So if you could please add a comment below and if if you want to know more, please come over to our um, plumbing and gas training group if you if you're training to be a gas engineer or plumber um, come over i'll add a link below in the description and yeah thanks for watching and just to see who watches right to the end just got a few questions or i've got a few problems on these installs i just wondered if you could list in the comments below any of the faults that you see in this section of the video and then afterwards what i'll do is i'll answer the questions below 
Also, if you bob over to the training group, uh, there will be some questions in there as well. So, yeah, if you could, please add some. Um, tell us what you think's wrong with these these installs. You can see that it's not been serviced for a while. That's just a back boiler, that one. And then this is a pipe. This is from a subscriber I sent this one in. This is a new new build property. They're having issues with the pipe getting blocked. If you could tell me in comments below why you think it's getting blocked, that'd be great. Thank you.